So the soil samples sit inside these chambers and I amend them with various amendments compost teas, sugars, whatever it might be that I'm interested in and I basically uh, keep them at 60% water holding capacity and I can describe how I do that later um, and basically yeah just monitoring the CO2 which is a proxy for the microbial activity happening in the soil and uh, really my goal here is to kind of understand more about carbon sequestration in the soil and how to increase biological activity in the soil in a cost-effective manner and I'll just show you how I collect the soil samples. All the soil samples that I ever deal with get sieved first to four millimeters and that's a standard kind of laboratory practice. I'm not really sure why but it is. That's standard. And So you can see here's some agricultural soil that I have that I'm going to be incubating and it's quite dead looking, honestly. It's very dry, it's very clay. So we're gonna be incubating that <clears throat> and we're gonna be putting some amendments on it and seeing, you know, if we can't make improvements. And the improvements, that's a quantitative thing as well as qualitative, but we'll get more into that later. And yeah, I use these silly old scales because I got them for free. So it's quite a mess. It's really not complicated, it's just looking like a mess because, well, mostly because I had a trans form the logic voltage of the Raspberry Pi for the um, relays and to do that required all this mess here. It's not complicated, it's just it's just quite a mess. So there you have it.